when you really boil it down, the biggest players that are damaging the planet are not individual people, but big corporations. Corporations such as the fast food industry, the fast fashion industry, and big oil. These corporations are so massive that they honestly deserve their own videos in the future. But if you look into the reasons as to why the planet is so messed up, their names usually pop up the most. Therefore, you could make the argument that the improvement and restoration of the planet is on them, which is true, but at the same time is wishful thinking. The reason why I say this is because at the end of the day, these companies know what they're doing, they just don't care. Their practices make them filthy rich, so they'll keep doing it as long as people keep indulging them. And most companies are the same way. They will ensure their profit over the safety of the environment. However, not all companies are this way. There are many companies who are trying to use their immense power to protect and improve the environment itself. So in this series, I would like to create a brand new series where I explore several companies who are trying to help the environment. And if there's time, I might do the exact opposite, where I explore companies who are using their power to destroy the planet for their own profit. But for today, I'd like to explore a specific company who is using their power to reinvent the linear economy, Mitero. But before we begin with Mitero, I'd like to explore what the linear economy is and explain why it's a problem. So the linear economy is everywhere. It's how we live our lives every single day. Almost everything in our world works on one singular principle. We take resources and turn them into products. And when we're finished with said product, it turns into waste, which is the end of its life. Said waste only piles up more and more and pollutes the earth every single day. Therefore, you can see how the linear economy is just linear. It's a single straight line. There's a beginning and an end, but therein lies the bigger issue. The ending we've conceived for resources is not manageable. The way it's going, it's literally killing our planet in more ways than one. However, we eventually noticed that nature itself doesn't do that. Almost all of its resources are eventually reused, which turns into a gigantic circle. We eventually realized we can't keep living our lives like this. Therefore, some people have envisioned a brand new system called the circular economy. In this system, everything is a circle. In short, all resource is turned into product, and when said product is used, it is reused and recycled. That way, there's barely any waste. This system can take several different forms. For example, some people have envisioned that in this world, people wouldn't own anything. You would rent most things and eventually return them. And when returned, the manufacturer would repurpose the product for something else. The circular economy strives to accomplish three things. Those three being eliminate waste and pollution, circulate products and materials, and regenerate nature. In this system, individuals don't have to worry about their carbon footprint, since their very consumption is eco-friendly. But again, most companies today don't work this way. Almost every company today works under a linear economy. And this is where Mitero comes in. Robert Lau is the co-founder and CEO of Mitero. Mitero being a synthetic biology and advanced material technology company. One day when Robert went to visit his uncle on his farm, the two spoke about how his farm creates a large amount of milk waste. And in that moment, Robert thought of a solution. He could upcycle milk waste into protein polymer, which could then be turned into textile fiber, such as t-shirts. That concept is such a great idea, mainly because it implements the circular economy into it. He's basically killing two birds with one stone. He's reducing milk waste while at the same time making new t-shirts. Him and his team are basically turning food waste into biomaterials. More recently, they've been able to turn beer waste into detergent pod containers, which are biodegradable. The reason why I want to spotlight Mitero in particular is because I think their entire mindset is what more companies need to have moving forward. A large amount of companies don't care much about the waste. However, Mitero proves that waste itself can be turned into profit. This company not only proves that a circular economy is possible, but can be successful as well. 
This company is still in its infancy. However, just imagine what's applicable in the future. On a large scale, you'd be able to eliminate a large amount of food waste. Not only that, but you'd be able to create brand new products from them, such as t-shirts or, or detergent pods. And this isn't just limited to food waste. It could also work for electronics and many other products we use. In the end, if Mitero is a sign of what's to come, then our future seems far more bright than expected. And with that, that brings our video to an end. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments if you want more of this type of content. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On a final note, for me, school is starting in two days, which means I'll be busy in the following weeks. Therefore, I'm not sure if there'll be another video coming out next week. But what I can say is that the next video will be a different type of content and a much longer format, so look out for that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.